Hi. Whenever people talk about referencing, it isn't long until the P word gets mentioned. Plagiarism. Yes, it's a big issue, and no, it isn't something you should ignore. It just needs some attention to avoid. Let's see how. So what is plagiarism? At Newcastle University, it's defined as the use of the work of others without acknowledgement. But what exactly does that mean? Put simply, it means copying somebody else's work and passing it off as your own. This includes other people's ideas, words, designs, images, video, music, and even things like lecture notes and computer code. In education, plagiarism is sometimes considered cheating, and warnings to avoid it come bundled with terrifying phrases like academic malpractice, intellectual fraud, and disciplinary action. But don't worry. Plagiarism can be avoided by correctly referencing every piece of information you use. Make it clear which parts of your writing are based on the work of others and which are your own analysis and evaluation. Make it clear if text is summarised, paraphrased or quoted directly. And always check that your references contain accurate information that others can use to find your sources. It really is that easy, and yet students still get caught out. Sometimes it's because they doubt themselves and the quality of their work. Sometimes English isn't their first language and they find paraphrasing a challenge. Sometimes they feel other people express their ideas better and it's more respectful to simply copy their writing. At other times, stress, poor note taking and basic time management problems are the issue. And on very rare occasions, some students simply think cheating is worth the risk. Well, I'm not gonna do that, I hear you say. Unfortunately, it's not always that simple. Most of the time, students plagiarise accidentally. For example, they might forget that a paragraph of text in their notes was actually copied from a journal article months earlier. They might forget a clever idea was inspired by someone else. And they might forget that a summary of a newspaper article was in fact a direct quote. They might even assume information is so well known it doesn't need a reference or it came from a website that doesn't count as a true academic source. However plagiarism happens, it's still considered poor academic practice. And this also includes buying essays online or copying a friend's work, so don't do it. And as I'm sure you know by now, Newcastle University uses plagiarism detection software that can spot this type of thing a mile off. One last thing. If something's considered common knowledge, simple dates or historic facts, for example, you don't actually need to reference it. Newcastle upon Tyne is in the northeast of England is a well-known fact, so it doesn't need a reference. In the same way, the earth is round or Shakespeare was an author don't need references either. This also applies to common knowledge in your own subject. If an educated reader would know a fact without needing to look it up, it probably doesn't need a reference. Plagiarism is an important issue and always one that worries students. But don't panic, just take it seriously, always consider and credit your sources, and always be careful to accurately summarise, quote and paraphrase others. If you need help, or if you're worried about what is and what isn't plagiarism, check out our website for more information. <laughs>